All right, children, I want everybody to settle down because with us today is Fire Marshal Bill, and he's going to be teaching us about fire safety in the classroom, okay? Fire Marshal Bill! Howdy, <laughs> kids! I know what you're thinking. We're all perfectly safe in this classroom, right? Right. right. Wrong. Just about everything you see in here is a potential hazard. Let me show you something. Let's just say you're changing the water in this here it's tank. And you accidentally fill it with gasoline, like so. Later that night, the janitor comes in. There's a power outage. He lights himself a match and... Oh! He's cooking fish sticks! Now, here's another all-too-common danger in the classroom. The movie projector. Sure! Looks like fun. But it can be very, very deadly. Now, let's just say you're the audio-visual helper for the day. You go to flood this baby in, and you just happen to be soaking your bunions in a bucket of water. Oh, oh my gosh, I hope he's okay! Never better. Now, let's talk about CPR. Drop and roll! Your hand's on fire! So it is. Well then, drop and roll is a good idea. But suppose you got a handful of thumbtacks and you accidentally roll over them like so. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Now the fire is out. But you look like Hellraiser! Say, you kids did a nifty job on this mural. Shall we study its basic elements? You've got paper and you've got paint. A deadly combination! Let me show you something. Let's just say, for the sake of argument, that the Earth is being occupied by strange, crab-like creatures from another planet. One of them needs a light. You whip out your Zippo, you flick your wick. Somebody says, look, it's Yoko Ono on a moped, and boom! You're off to the races. Yeah, how do we put this out? Uh, uh, smother it with a blanket? You could do that, that's for sure. Anybody else? Um, you could ask the crab-like people for assistance? Get real, big kid! How about you, Missy? Get a fire extinguisher! Excellent, Miss Tompkins. But let's give the kids a chance. No, the classroom is on fire! Kids, come on! So it is! Everybody remain calm! I am a fire marshal! By the way, what's on the other side of this wall? The chemistry lab! Uh-oh! <laughs> children. All the kids have been accounted for. Our school is gone! Yeah. When will they ever learn? <laughs> oh, well. Who wants marshmallows? Yeah! We need sticks. Sticks? <laughs> Not when you're with Fire Marshal Bill, you don't. Let me show you something. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Matchbox Mark's Diecast Restoration. So this project, I'm doing a uh, a bill to uh, honor Fire Prevention Month. I got this uh, information from Lee, uh, Time Rat over at We Little Cars. Uh, he put out a picture and of uh, the 3D part for the fire pumper truck. And I, uh, he said it's fire prevention month. So anyway, thank you that for that, Lee. So you just uh, triggered me to do this build here. Uh, this is a double of mine. I have this in my collection from when I was a kid. So it's going to be a custom. And it's cool because I didn't know what I wanted to do with this. I'm not going to restore because it it's already in good shape. And this could satisfy for my Saturday resto, but eh. Let's let's give it its own day to honor Fire Prevention Month. So anyway, number 13, Snorkel Fire Engine, 1977. And I've got big plans for this. 
or I got visions. So uh, all the pieces are still there. So I'm excited to do it. So without further ado, uh, let's take it off the roundabout and see what it's made of. Stick around. All right, so I thought I'd get the big book out for the MB-13 snorkel fire engine and see if there's any variations to it. So there's the picture of it. Let's check it out here. So here it is, MB-13 snorkel issued 1977. So this little baby's got 11 variations. So quite a bit. And I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, it's going to be a custom anyway. It doesn't really matter. But 11 variations. All right, so we have uh, we have a lot of 13s. Dodge Wreck Truck, which I just did. Baja Buggy. The 4x4 Open Back Truck. So pretty cool. And then we've got the Buster over here. So we've got a lot of 13s. So anyway, all right, so let's stick around and take it apart. All right. So let's get the little snorkel fire engine on the maintenance floor. So I've never had to uh, take apart this casting. So there's a little fire guy, fireman. I'm going to try to paint him and detail him if I can. Alright, so let's take it apart. I'm just glad that that's intact. So two post. Here we go. Oh, look at this. Looks like we got some cobwebs up in there. And this looks like, from what I remember, uh, I gotta take this apart. All right, so I'm gonna fuss with that off the camera. And then these, uh, I'm going to spray the bottom in a chrome color. I think that'll look really cool. So I need to take the tires off. So I will do that off camera. Drill out the uh, window unit. And then, uh, yeah, get it in the stripper. All right. Well, I'll see you next shoot. All right, I'm getting ready to assemble my fire engine here for my fire prevention month build. So, did a lot of detailing on this. Went ahead and painted it red again. All right, I'm going to put it together and put it on the roundabout and see what I've got. Stick around for the final reveal. All right, before we take a look at the final reveal, let's see what I started with. Started with the uh, original snorkel fire engine. All right, let's see where I ended up. All right, it is time for my reveal for my fire prevention month build. So I want to thank uh, Time Rider over at Wee Little Cars. Lee, thank you for uh, putting out the announcement out there. So this was an impromptu build based on that. So I just took this Matchbox snorkel fire engine and just kind of, you know, detailed it out a little bit. And this was a fun one. Uh, I always like to detail fire engines because mainly the chrome. So the hardest part about this was uh, painting the fireman. I didn't know what to paint them. So I painted them my titanium gold and orange helmet. And if you see like a chrome on his face, uh, that simulates like a mask for like breathing. So uh, I didn't know what else to do there. It would have looked funny. Just left it white. Anyway, this was pretty cool. So uh, once again, thanks Lee for putting it out there. Appreciate you. And on that note, I'll see you on the next video.
Yeah, but th that's all, folks.